Good morning you guys, so it is super super early, it's like 6.30am, we were already were about to go to Heathrow because we're travelling to California this afternoon but we're getting there really early to do some shopping so I thought I would bring you guys along with me, show you my travel outfit quickly, just very simple, navy cami, navy blazer, jeans and then some loafers as well, just super comfy, pretty casual. Just having a pretty deep for our flight. Our flight, I think it takes off in like an hour and a half, but we are boarding in about an hour, so just having a quick bite to eat. Uh, my mum just got to the bathroom, but I think she's having some kind of chicken curry thing, chicken laksa, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then I am having the grilled salmon. Yep, I love that. Hi you guys, so I haven't vlogged in a little while now, um, the last bit of footage I took was obviously coming to California, we're now in Vegas, I didn't really vlog at all in California um, just because it was busy, um, you know, I was doing all kinds of stuff and then we had family as well, so but we're in Vegas um, for a few days now, so I thought I'd kind of end the vlog with just a little bit of Vegas, not planning on like doing a full Vegas vlog just because I feel like Vegas can get a little bit repetitive, it's super fun but maybe not the most interesting vlogging footage, um, but I thought I would vlog today at least. We are headed to brunch now. This is my little brunch outfit. Um, we're going to the lakeside restaurant at the Wynn Lakeside. I'm not sure. They're just doing like a kind of brunch buffet type thing I think it's supposed to be very good so that's what we're doing today um, I'm not sure if this dress is still in stock I bought it a couple of weeks ago but if it is I will link it below and my shoes are just the PVC ones that I've been wearing constantly during this trip because they are so comfy and you have to walk a lot in Vegas so these have been a lifesaver and the bag that I'm carrying is my little Gucci kind of clutch wallet on chain which I've been loving so we're going to head to brunch now and then we're probably going to do some sightseeing, maybe they're shopping, just a little bit of all the Vegas good stuff. Ridiculous. 
very pretty. They sat right on the water's edge. It almost looks fake, like it's just so nice. And the actual restaurant is super pretty as well. Okay, so this is the menu, so there are the unlimited drinks here. And then you also have the avocado here, which I think you can order as much as many times as you want. They also have a buffet inside for like seafood and stuff. So we're really here for seafood, but very excited on this. And we just have water. I think we're going to get some champagne in a second. And I'm just enjoying this beautiful view. So stunning. Hi guys, so I'm back in London now. As you can see, I'm just in my closet sitting on the floor, but I thought I would end the vlog here by showing you some things that I got along the way. I know this has been a bit of a hodgepodge vlog. It started in London at Heathrow and then Vegas, and now back to London again, but I picked up a couple of things at Heathrow and then a few different things along the way in the US. And this isn't going to be like a massive haul. I'm going to cover clothing in a separate video on my kind of wardrobe favourites. But this is a kind of mix of things. I also got a new handbag which I'm going to show you. So it's from Senra if you can see that. And it did come in all the packaging and everything else. But I had to throw that away because obviously I was travelling. This is something I had been eyeing for a while. But I had my reservations and I'll explain why in a second. Here it is, so this is the Aria bag and this is actually a belt bag so it comes with the leather strap and initially I hadn't really looked at this because if you guys follow my channel regularly you'll probably know this but I'm not a massive fan of belt bags. I like them on other people, I just personally don't think that I can pull off a belt bag and it's just not a style that I'm particularly interested in for me but I was looking for a nice little crossbody, particularly for travel. I wanted something that was going to be very durable but still looked very nice and luxurious 
but I also didn't want to spend an absolute ton of money. Um, so I saw this, and this was priced really well. So this is actually under $400. The metal chain is separate though, so it is another 95, I think, for the chain. So in total, my order with tax came to a little bit over $500. Um, but this is such a great little bag for a crossbody. And obviously, if you want to wear it as a belt bag, that's great as well. I don't plan on wearing it like that, but I do actually think that there are a few different ways to wear it. So as you can see, you have the straps or the kind of little holes on the back, and that's where the leather strap goes through to make it into a belt bag. But I think I saw on their Instagram that you can wear this like a whole bunch of different ways. So I might experiment with that. And if I find some good ways, then I might kind of do a separate video. Um, but I was really interested in it because of the chain. I love the look of this so much. I think I saw it first on their Instagram. They had a, a model with a, like an orange one. And it looks so chic. And I thought it was just beautiful. And it's a really clever way to do it as well. So where is clasp? So the clasp is right here. And you can adjust it as well. So with its full length, it is quite long. Long, um, but you can obviously make it to whatever length you want so whatever height you are or whatever kind of size you are this should work and then on the inside you just have and it's pretty roomy for quite a small bag you have a zip pocket right here and a couple of card slots here and they have the beautiful blue lining as well which I love I was really boring and I just got it in the Merlot color but I love my mini Maestro Merlot so much that I knew I wanted to get it again especially with the gold hardware I just think it's the prettiest combination look at that just so so lovely so I am super excited about this the leather is one of the best things about the Samurai bags in my opinion because it looks very luxurious but it's also so so durable which is why I think it just make a perfect travel bag so I already have used this I used it on the way back and it was just everything that I wanted I always carry a tote with me but I often want a kind of smaller wallet or chain or crossbody just because I don't always want to carry my tote around because I always carry my laptop in it and it can get quite heavy but I do have a travel video coming up I haven't forgotten about that so I'm gonna try and do that well I guess it'll be August now um, I'm definitely gonna try and do that next month detailing all my travel bags and the way I pack them and all that kind of stuff but I'm very very excited about this I thought it was such a cute little find and even though I'm not really planning on wearing it as a belt bag it's nice that that's the option but I love it with the chain how cute is that and then next up I have a couple of polka dot items and I wanted to mention these because I love polka dots obviously but I know so many of you guys love polka dots too and I thought this was so cute. These are both from Loft and I love Loft especially during their sales. I wouldn't say to ever buy Loft full price because I just don't think that there's any point because obviously they always do discount codes but when I went in they were having a 50% off sale I think which is really good. And I saw this and I thought it was adorable, especially as I know that the BP camis during the Nordstrom sale sold out super quickly. I think this is a really nice alternative. I own this exact cami in a few different colours as well. And obviously when I saw the polka dots, I knew I had to get it. So I thought that was very adorable. And with the sale discount, it's very, very affordable too. So I love that. And then I also saw this adorable little pouch. And this isn't leather or anything, so it's not like a super good quality one. But it was only... $14.50 and half off that's like $7.25 so a really cute little pouch I thought I'd just kind of store receipts or maybe tissues or something like that in there but yeah loving my polka dots still and then I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I got at Heathrow so first up I got a travel size of my Jo Malone perfume I've tossed the packaging for this because again I've traveled um, but this is the peony and blush suede and I always get asked what perfume I wear and it's this one I love the scent so much I own the body cream I own the candle I own the full-size perfume I used to own the travel perfume as well but somewhere along the way I misplaced it so I got myself a new one and I'm very excited about this I would also say that I got this for free because I used Heathrow Rewards so it's just a rewards card that if you do travel through Heathrow a lot and you shop there a lot 100% worth it to get I just collect points as I go and because I collected enough points I got this completely for free and it's like 68 pounds usually so 100% worth it. it's such a great rewards program but yeah I was very very happy I was able to get this for free and then in the Chanel bags so this isn't actually for me this is a giveaway prize and I'm not giving it away in this video I think I'm going to give it away I'm assuming I'm going to do a what I got for my birthday video so I think I'm going to do it then which is going to be about mid-August but I thought I'd show you what so I've already had a little peek but it does come with all the packaging and I will put it all back together when I kind of send it out to the winner I saw this and I just knew I had to get it because it was the cutest thing. I don't think I've ever actually seen this particular SLG before, but look at that. Oh, it's good. 
Can you see that? It is an iridescent piece. It's so pretty. I think it's like an iridescent beige, but it's a very, very pale beige. So much more pale than my um, classic beige Claire Jumbo. It's so pretty though, it just has a hint of shimmer. So it's not too much, but just enough to have a little bit of a shine to it. I think the hardware is like light gold hardware. And then it opens with a very smooth zipper. And then on the inside, you just have that little space. You can just about fit a card in. In there is the authenticity card. Um, but it is a little bit snug, I've got to say. But this would be perfect as people recommended for my Louis Vuitton coin purse. Perfect for earphones or coins, obviously. And you can fit one or two cards in there as well. So I thought this was way too cute to pass up. So if you're interested in winning this, stay tuned for my What I Got For My Birthday video. I think that will go up probably about... 14th 15th of august something like that um, and i will be giving away this little beauty so that's it for this video thank you so much for coming along with me i know it was kind of a bit all over the place um but the next vlog i do i will try and keep it just in one place if you have any questions for me leave them down below i'll try and leave links to everything in the description section if you like vlogs please give this a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye guys